What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do a headphone versus earbud challenge where we're going to put the Skull Candy Crusher ANC2 air headphones up against the Skull Candy Rail ANC earbuds. So, we're going to see which one of these is going to walk out uh, the winner uh, in this one for the Skull Candy brand. Uh, I'm, this is going to be fun and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, if you want to see price specs and app breakdowns for either of these, I'll leave links in the description below to my unboxing uh, videos for both of these. And if you want to also uh, interested in purchasing either one of these, I'll leave links in the description on where you can buy one or both. All right. And before we get started, also make sure you go and hit that like button for me and also make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. It all helps the channel and it also helps you get notified when videos uh, are released. All right, so without further ado, let's jump in. All right, we are back in. We did a coin flip off camera. We're gonna start off with the rail A and Cs. So let's go ahead and dive, we're in the app already. So I just wanna go into our hearing mode, our hearing modes rather, and we have it set to aware, all right? So now I just wanna quickly show you the equalizer setting here. I have it set to custom. And as you can see there, everything is zeroed out. So there is no EQ help at all. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go back into our hearing and we're gonna turn on noise canceling. All right, we have the intensity level turned all the way up. So noise canceling has been turned on. So we'll go ahead, slide over to our first song. And let's go ahead and check our volume level all right just below the orange line and actually we want to go ahead and make sure we turn off my wi-fi so we're just going straight 5g so we get in that that hi-fi sound all right so here we go first song let's do it all right again Nice clarity. Again, I wish the volume was natural volume was a little louder, but you got a good sound stage. Okay. Try, I'm looking. I'm looking for uh, more nuance, some detail here. Again, okay, got the break, got the breathing in. Some of the uh, enunciation of the lyrics, the P's, the B's, the T's, not popping. So you, that that's kind of missing here. But I like the clarity with the background vocalist and the lead vocalist. I love the separation too. It's really good. Okay, again, I, I'm just really like that. I think it's it's nice. I like I said, I wish the, that. These were a little bit louder naturally, uh, but again, some nuances, some nuance was missing that I was uh, grown used to looking at or looking for when it comes to uh, earbuds and headphones. So, but all right, good start uh, for the real ANCs. Let's go ahead and switch over to the Crusher ANC 2s and see how they do. All right, we are back in. We got the Crusher ANC 2s on. We're in the app. Uh, just went in. We are in what is it? The hearing mode. We are in a oh, uh, stay aware mode. Okay, so one thing that these have that the ANC, the uh, rail ANCs do not is the crusher mode. So I went ahead and turned that off just to be just to keep it hundred percent fair. So I went ahead and turned that. Yeah, like I said, I went and turned that off. And now I'm gonna show you my EQ settings here. You see, they are also zeroed out just like on the rail ANCs. So we got us a pretty much of a, a good fight here, a fair fight anyway. So let's go ahead and switch over to our first song. All right, we'll check our, our volume levels here, make sure. Okay. All right, we are there. Let's go. All right, nice, clear. Vo sound good volume okay nice sound stage 
The lo vocalist, background, and lead sound very clear. All right. Again, getting the details, the breaths, the inhales. And you're getting the popping. They're not as the B's and T's and P's. They are popping on here as well. Very clear sounding. Getting the echoing too. So you get a lot of detail out of these ones. And I like the, how clear the background vocalists are and the separation is great. All right. They sound really, really good. Okay. Whoops. Thought I paused that. Again, very clear sound. I like it. like the sound stage. The, uh, again, like I said, the clarity of the vocalist, both the lead and background, and good detail. All right. So let's go ahead and switch over to our second song. All right, we're back in for the second song. What well, we have considered my bass test. We got the rail A and C's in. Let me make sure that we are, we got the hearing mode set up the way we want. All right. Okay. Just wanted to check, make sure that we were 100% on that. All right. So like I was saying, we got the rail A and C's in. We just want to make sure noise canceling was still turned on. So let's go. Let me back this up. Here we go. I like the bass. And a nice reverb too. It, it fades away nicely. Again, the natural volume is what's really holding these back in my opinion. I'm quite, I know if I turn these up, these things are going to rock 100%, but... I don't listen to my music at 100% or even close to that. Again, very clear. Again, the the high the, the auto tune, the high pitchiness is kind of there, but it's not as piercing. But the vocals are very clear. Let me let me turn this up real quick a little bit. Yeah, that bass is clean right about here. Yeah, that bass is real clear right about this point. All right. Now E40's in. Vocals sound very clear. The lyrics do. All right. I, I definitely wanted to try, just turn it up just a couple notches where I think they should sound at at this point. Uh, and and, and it's, they sound really good. The bass is nice and, nice and clean. The reverb fades away lovely. It just really sounds good again but you have to turn these up a little bit in order to get there because their natural volume is not as loud but other than that uh the vocal the lyrics were great good sound stage uh they smoothed out the uh smoothed out a little bit the high pitch sound of the auto tunes so uh they got some good points there as well all right let's go ahead and switch over to the crusher ansc 2s and see how they do. All right, we are back in. We got the Crusher ANC 2s on. Second song, let's go. I like the way it faded in with the bass. Nice thump to it. Reverb, the reverb, the low end hits and fades away nicely. Again, vocals nice and clear. Okay, the piercing. The high pitch sound that seems to be piercing to me is not bad. I've heard better, but it's not bad. Again, the lyrics, nice and clear. That bass is nice on here. Very clean. Oh, sounds good. All right, now we got a little bit of E40 going in. Here we go. Yeah, very clear. And I love that bass. I love it. Okay. Very clean. Nice natural volume with these headphones. That gives you that nice thumping bass and that low end reverb face waves nicely. The lyrics very clear. All I think is, is that piercing sound from the uh, auto tune seems just, uh, just not as smooth as I would like it. But other than that, uh, a really good listen. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to song number three. 
All right, we are back in for our final song. We got the rail ANCs on or in the air. Let's go. All right, nice, clear, high keys. All right, got a nice little, some, somewhat of a transition from the high keys to the low keys. <laughs> Your lead saxophone comes in, it sounded very clean, very crisp. Good sound stage. Okay, listening for some detail here. Good echoing there. And it sounds very, very clear. I just I like the way it sounds. Now I was paying attention to some of the uh the keyboard there a little bit. I was trying to see if I can pull some detail out. Um if I focus strictly on that, but it sounds good, but just not a lot of detail in there. All right, let me go ahead. I went out, went a little long on that one. Not a little deep, not a lot of detail coming out on the keyboard end of it. Although the saxophones sound very clean, very crisp. I uh, had no problem with that there. I was kind of hoping I can get some more out of the uh, keyboard side of it. All right, so let's go ahead and get this switched up to the Crusher ANC 2s and see how they handle it. All right, we are back in. We got the Crusher ANC 2s on. Final song, let's go. All right, nice volume on these. Like the transition from the high keys to the low keys. Got that nice little low end rumble there. Very nice. Nice sound stage. The saxophone sounds very clean, very crisp. Uh, sounds fantastic. Nice. Again, soundstage is nice, so you got good separation, but yet you have balance between the keyboard and the saxophone. Got a nice little little bass, little thump there uh, from the low end keys on the uh, keyboard, so you got really good detail coming out. Oh, very nice. Oh, okay. So we got some nice detail. Chris uh, saxophone, very detailed on that. Got the echoing as well. I love the tr the way you can hear the transition uh, from the high keys to the low keys uh, on the keyboard. You got that low end little rumble there. You can you can definitely tell the difference in them. I love that transition. I love that that detail was just that clear on these. And again, the natural volume on these. Uh, very they get uh, again. You don't have to turn these all the way up or even turn them up. Uh, from where I have them to get good sound out of them or or even great detail. So well done on that one. Let's go ahead and get this cleaned up and come back and talk about these guys for just a little bit and then pick our winner. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. And this has been a fun head-to-head -head, uh, with the Skull Candy Crusher ANC2 headphones going up against the Skull Candy Rail ANC earbuds. And you can definitely tell the difference between these two. So let's quickly go ahead and discuss that. First, the first song, both of them gave you good clarity as far as the vocalist, lead and background vocalist. Good sound stage, so you got good spacing between all three. However, the Skull Candy rails, we're just going to, the rail ANCs, just the natural volume, they're just a little low. You have to turn these up in order to really appreciate the sound. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. That snuck up on me. Uh, the sound of uh, of these guys. Um, again, but other than that, you got really good detail. Uh, and of course, with the volume being low, some not, you got okay detail. I ain't gonna say good. You got okay detail because when it came to uh, your natural volume, it really uh, hampered the uh, the low end or your detail rather when it came to that song. All right. Sorry about that. I had to answer a phone call. Now let's go ahead and switch over to our second song. Again, 
both of them did a, a really good job. Again, it, the, the lack of natural volume uh, hindered the uh, rail ANCs. They got good base, but the reverb, uh, it was there, but it wasn't, it wasn't as prominent like I would hope it would be. Again, I did turn it up a couple notches and they sound just as good as the uh, Crusher ANC 2s did. But the fact that I had to turn them up to get there is a problem for me. But other than that, uh, the bass thump was definitely there, definitely noticeable. Uh, they, as far as the uh, vocals, the lyrics, uh, T-Pain with that auto-tune wasn't as, pier as piercing as I've had in some hair earbuds, uh, but it it wasn't as it wasn't as smoothed out as I would have liked. Uh, but I was still able to you know listen to the uh, song with no problem um, and everything. Lyrics were very was definitely clear between T Pain and E Forty for the the stint that I listened to it in, and it it, it was really good. Again, just the volume uh, really really hampered. The rail ANC, the natural volume that is. All right, and going over to the Crusher ANC twos again. Great natural volume with these guys. Don't need no need to turn them up to get the sound that I want. I got nice thumping bass. That reverb was nice and clean and faded away nicely. I get just like the uh, rail ANCs. The auto tune was not as sm as smoothed out as I would have liked with liked for it to have been, but the lyrics from both artists were very clear, nice sound stage. So it sound nice, sound really, really good. Now going into our final song, more of the same, uh, but with the final song, you got the, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> mm, I am so sorry. You got the, uh, the, 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 the transition wasn't there uh, with the, uh, the low end, uh, with the uh, keyboard on the, on the uh, rail ANCs, you can get that crisp high keys, but when it goes and you get that transition into the low end, it wasn't it wasn't there like I like. Uh, whereas it was definitely there uh, with the uh, uh, Crusher ANC twos. Um, and again, of course, uh, you did get good sound stage between the both of them. Nice separation there, and uh, the like the saxophone on both was very crisp. Um, it's just, again, the volume issue with the rail ANCs is, was the problem. Um, but it did produce some really good, uh, sound outside of that transition. So, uh, again, with the, uh, Crusher ANCs, before I go any further, very good sounding. Uh, I love the volume on them in this, this comparison. And of course, uh, the, you know, got good detail as well. All right. So, uh, if I had to walk out the door with just one of these, uh, I would have to definitely go with the Crusher ANC 2s. Uh, they just sound better naturally. Um, it, 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 they just were. I mean, the natural volume was nice and loud. Uh, great. Gave me good detail, good bass, nice reverb. Uh, nice. The sound stage was good. It was just a clean, uh, clean uh, listen all the way through. Now, the rail ANCs, I, they do have just as much promise as the can't, the Crusher ANC twos, but you have to turn these up. Uh, if you're at 50%, 55, you want to go up to like 60, 65%, maybe even 70%, 70 70% volume in order to truly appreciate uh, the bass and everything out of these earbuds, which is a shame because uh, you should, I feel as though you shouldn't have to turn them all the way up like that to get good sound out of them. And again, taking note, we didn't use the EQ on either one of these. And I turned off the uh, the the big the Crusher bass on the uh, the Crusher two Crusher ANC twos. So these guys are really just basically you pull them out of the pull them out out of the box, pair them up, put them in your ears or on your head, and go. That's basically where we're at now, and that's what we get out of these. So again, uh, good a good pair of earbuds. Just the natural volume is low. Definitely needs EQ help and you know, EQ assistance in order to, and, and maybe even turn up the volume, like I said, a couple of notches uh, to get to reach their full potential. All right. So, again, my winner in this one is the 
Crusher ANC2 headphones by Skull Candy. And that will wrap up for this episode of Headphones versus Earbud Challenge. I hope you guys liked it as much as I did. Give me a like uh, if you did. If you want to join me as I march on to 10,000 subscribers, I'm trying to get there and beyond growing the community and everything like that. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you want, uh, want to be notified when videos like this and others drop, go ahead and hit the uh, notification bell as well. Uh, I, have, I have some other things I'm thinking about doing with this YouTube channel. So we'll see what's up uh, moving forward. But definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe. Go ahead and hit the notification. Hit the like. Share these videos with some of your friends and everyone. These are a lot of fun. And I hope this in. Thanks for coming out and spending some time with me, and I hope I see you on the next one. Peace.